hello everyone very warm welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can do video dubbing with the help of ai the project which we are going to cover in this video is called as sony translate sony translate is a very interesting project which provides you a very powerful user-friendly web app that allows you to easily translate videos into different languages this project host not only the code for the web ui but also it provides you a very comprehensive gradio library to provide a seamless and interactive user experience so we are going to install it on free google colab you can also use the same instructions to get it installed locally in your jupyter notebook or in any python script so let's get started before i do that let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures output accordingly to the shape of your query i will also drop the link to their website in video's description okay let's go to our google colab now and it's a free google colab you can access it on colab.google.com and from there once you can sign in with your free google account click on runtime and select the free gpu provided by google itself so very generous of them now let's install some of the prerequisites for this project and i will also give you the link to this notebook so no need to worry about all of these commands so the interesting bit here is that it is using two TTS projects or models which we already have covered on our channel. The first one is Cockway TTS. Cockway TTS is a library for advanced text-to-speech generation and it comes with more than 1100 um, language supported pre-trained models. It also provides you tools for training new models and fine-tuning but that is a topic for another video and I already have covered it on my channel. Another uh, project which it supports is called as Parler TTS. That is a, another project which we already have covered on the channel. Parler TTS is a lightweight text-to-speech model that can generate high-quality natural sounding speech in the style of a given speaker which means that it covers gender, pitch, speaking style etc. So pretty good selection of tooling behind the scene. Now if you look at this code on all we are doing it we are just get uh, cloning the repo of sony translate and i will also drop the link to it in video description then we are installing some of the prerequisites like git lfs which allows us to download larger files from git and then this is where we are installing all of these prerequisites this is a piper one and this is a corkway tts one as i mentioned earlier and then it is installing both of these it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish. Installation is still in progress. While that happens, let me show you the list of languages it supports and there are heaps of them as you can see on your screen. Mostly all of the European languages are Arabic, and then the list goes on and on and on. Urdu, Hindi, Vietnamese, even the regional languages of India are supported. And lot of regional languages from Central Asia, Africa are also there, which is quite interesting. And then they also support transcription. And then if you come down, you see there are some non-transcription one, the languages which I don't even know. I have never heard of them, but very, really good stuff. And then on their GitHub repo page, they also have shared a lot of examples, which you can check out. Okay, so it is still running. As I said, it is going to take a bit of a time. And if you are on Google Colab Pro, which offers you to have more beefy GPU, then of course the speed will improve. But anyway, I think this T4 GPU should be good enough. We can wait. And the installation is complete now. Next up, we would also need to get authenticated with Hugging Face because we are using this stuff from there. And in order to do that, first we would need to go to Hugging Face website. And then from the top right, just click here, click on your profile. On the left hand side, click on settings. And there click on access token. And then if you don't have already a token, just click on create new token here. Maybe 
click the read one just give it any name and create token and then grab that token go back to your hugging face and that's a free one by the way just click here i already have the token so when it is going to ask me i'm just going to so you see it is asking me the token here so let me quickly do that and i have put it my token here and of course i'm going to rotate it after the video is done and you can see that now it is downloading the model from hugging face it is going to download quite a bit of a stuff and then it is going to enable the piper tts so let's wait for it and this is the one for that it needed uh, that token and now we have this public url let's click on it it, it is going to start that gradio demo for us it is loading and there you go we have our sony translate where you can upload your video so you see you can uh, choose your video source you just need to click here on this drop down and then there's a video there's a source language where it is you can also i think specify but it will do the automatic detection and then because on the previous page we had selected english and then you can just go with how many speakers are there which voice do you want from us or any other and there are a lot of options that you can select from here and then you can even go with dts text to speech based on the audio and there are few advanced settings which i would suggest you just keep it as is because mostly are already optimized okay so let me uh, upload a video file here maybe i'll just upload one of my own small video file so i have just uploaded one of my video file as you can see here f2c and then i'm going to click on translate it is processing the video and then it should start transcribing it and translating it sometimes it takes a bit of a time because remember it's a free gpu if there is more load on google's gpu you might face some issues and sometimes it fails to where you just need to uh, just rerun it so if you're looking to do it on con uh, regular basis and if you have massive video files i would highly suggest that instead of running it on free google collab either you run it locally in jupyter notebook following same instructions or you get a um, you get some sort of uh, google pro lab now you see that it failed there and it is asking me that i needed to uh, accept the agreement on hugging face website so let me show you how so there are two models one is for pine node speaker diarization rotation and the other one is this segmentation and by the way i already have covered both of them here in this video if you're interested i thought i already have uh, done it but maybe it was another email so let me put in my information maybe for company i'm just going to say uh, uh, personal for website i will just give it my own website address so i have just put in my website information for hadmirza.com personal and then research and testing let's agree so i have been granted the access and same thing for this one so let me put it in here and now i have access to both of the gated models so let's go back to our google collab or radio demo which we were running and i will just uh, click on translate here let's wait for it so you see it has created few of the files here but um, if you remember we didn't set the target language here so now i have set it to urdu so because the audio is in english so i'm just going to click it translate again here let's translate it again you don't take too long it's quite quick i'm quite impressed by here so it is doing text to speech or tts it is also doing the diarization rotation and okay and you, if you see here we have one model for diarrhization diarrhization rotation in audio transcription refers to the process of identifying and labeling different speakers within the audio recording which determine who is speaking at what time and then we have this segmentation and this segments the audio into speaker specific segments assigning a unique identifier to each speaker and that is where it creates also 
an SRT file. So you see here, not only it has created our Urdu MP4 file, but also the SRT file. And SRT is a sub -rip subtitle file, which is a plain text file that contains suitable information for these files like timestamp, subtitle text, and sequential numbering. Okay, so let me download this MP4, which is now Urdu, and I will play both English and Urdu for you one by one, and I will also show you a SRT file. So let me just download it by clicking here. Okay, let me play this video file first for a few seconds. And I am Fahad Mirza, and we are both AWS community builders. Together, we were looking at building a project for DevEmber. And while looking at Generative AI, we both realized how about Santa Lattice. Okay, so this is a very old video for a project which I did for AWS. Anyway, so let me um, play now the translated one. Aurum Fede Mirzeu, Aurum Dunu AWS Muenabers. Asati, Mdewam Barri Lia Rua Jabanan Ragaurin Rara. Aurajin Rua E Uduti Wii, Mdunu Ixasin Wan, Santa Hutu. Okay, so you see that it is, it has been translated, but I don't think so. It's an Urdu language. It seems like some closer language, maybe it is Persian, Pashto, something like that. Definitely not Urdu. So, uh, also, it has selected the female voice. I think we can also select the male voice from that radio demo, but I think you can play around with it. Uh, as you know, there are a lot of configurations which you can do. Another interesting thing which I wanted to show you is that though the transcription doesn't look that good, but it was able to do this trans uh, translation in text quite good in that SRT file. So you see, this is a subrip title file which I was telling you about. So if you look at this translation, it's a perfect Urdu, which it has done. But while speaking, I think it was unable to pick that up. And if I take you take you back to that Gradio demo of Sony Translate, this is where we needed to select that male voice instead of female. And then we can play around with different sort of configuration to get it right. But all in all, not a bad model since you can run it on your free Google Colab, which is always a good thing to do. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about it. If you, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.